guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Jagged Rampa 2, Goodbye Despair, and we are uh, continuing in chapter, whatever the hell this next chapter is, chapter 5, 6, I don't, 5? I don't know. I'm assuming it's 5, because then this would go to case 5, that would make sense, but I don't really know. But anyway, Gundam is gone. <sighs> well, I don't know where his hamsters went. They're not dead, so I don't know where they are, but anyway. After being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. Jeez. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um, the restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than, than there were at the beginning. Silly fool. Get it together. Oh my. Huh? Did you hear something? Hey! It's Nekamaru! That was Coach Nekamaru's voice! Huh? W what are you talking about? He's no longer- What's up? Hehehe. <laughs> I'll beat you up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that! <laughs> hey, hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly, I am starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Teru Teru was. <laughs> ah, don't ignore me! I'm trying to talk to you about something important! Huh? Important? Alright! This! Took me all night to make it! My! Is that a Nekumaru doll? No doll! I'm Minimaru! Minimaru! <laughs> He's so cute! Huh? Minimaru? <laughs> I took some parts from him to make it! What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Are oh. you serious? Oh, oh! <laughs> it's so cute! Thanks, I'll keep it! Well... Huh, I never said anything about giving it away. I'll pick you up! Don't be so stuck up! Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa! Oh, hey now! That's a bully's logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm. And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekamaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're going to prevent something like that from ever happening again, I guess we got to fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. Huh. Got to admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um. In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? Um, Miss Sonia, what did you think of my little pep talk? Oh my. Oh, did you say something? Are you kidding me? Well, I was up all night memorizing that speech. Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Minimaru. He's so fucking adorable. Man. Yeah. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right! Oh, by the way, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. You serious? Uh, are you serious? That's amazing! Of course. Of course. I made it, after all. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Kane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the friggin' time. Well. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class trial. Sorry. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard. He crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey! Then that's even more reason we should avoid him. But still... But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nagito's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Now then. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? Hm. You know, what Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it? Jeez. Get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Oh, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Hey, bastard. What did it even mean by except for Hajime? <gasps> Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. 
Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently I'm just a normal person. Hmm. Is that all? Uh. What? That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope's Peak Academy because I had talent all along. But shit. My whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting into Hope's Peak Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course! She is right! No matter what, you are our friend! You know, there is a saying in Japan... Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger! Hey! The hell? You're saying that all wrong. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> so... Everyone was here. It, it was a really close battle. I am sorry. I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff just hard. Stuff's just hard to say sometimes. Huh? huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me. Huh? What? What the heck? You're covered in blood. Ah, hmm? oh, you saw me. Yes, that's right. The the mono beast this time was very strong. You gross! Don't get close to me. Get out of here. What? No gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, hey. Hey, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm ashamed of myself. Wipe, 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 wipe. Bing, bing, wipe. Bing. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh, I see. What a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all you can eat restaurant. What's shabu shabu? Um. Don't tell me. This again? You're gonna say stuff like. It's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true. I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. Uh, huh? So. Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my. Because if we can't side. run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who puts us through this crap in one blow. Hey, hey. But fight. Seriously, that fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know. What are you saying? Why, you... Did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey. Dumbass, I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonya. What? D don't brag about that. Settle down. Settle down. If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then direct that power towards our enemy. All right. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. Y you're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I just don't really get it. When Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. Alright! All right, I'm getting pumped up! Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's the only thing getting up. Let's charge our way to that new island! To get Future Foundation, up. Monokuma, Monami, I'll crush them all at once! That's Even me?! <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're a friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Smile at hope in the name of despair. See, that doesn't help. With the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. No more running around, I guess, huh? So uh. this is the last island. Enormous buildings towered everywhere as if the entire island were one gigantic city. 
It's creepy as fuck. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. Okay. Which what, what this is what I'm doing. What is this one? Sea King Industries. Seeking Industries? Sea King? Seeking? There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. Feels very sci fi. I found a Monokuma. Hmm. Seeking Industries. Huh? huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electrical insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh, I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. They're making Mono Beast. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. That's a Mono Beast. Joy. Huh? Are you serious? We have so many Monokuma coins and like nothing to use with them. It's a person. This automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Maybe it's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? Seriously? How can they make robots? <gasps> hey, just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekumaru is made here? That was cool. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey! But who would have? But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too? Mono Beast? This, this machine is making another machine? This finished project looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey! Doesn't that animal look, looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the Mono Beast? Maybe. Is there any chance that those Mono Beasts were created here? The Mono Beast were created here? Fine, fine. Yep, that's what this place is for! Hey, hey. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye-bye! That's why it's just fine! There's something wrong with you. The hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. <laughs> and it doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such dangerous robots in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn it, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What else is there to investigate? This crap. Blah, blah, blah. Either way, it pisses me off. Yeah, I don't bother reading that because there's really nothing to read in there. Blah, blah, blah. There's nothing else to investigate here, right? No, I don't think so. No, it's just those things. All right, so we'll just talk to Kazuichi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Heh, why? Well, why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously, what else am I going to do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> He was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible delusional story, I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? So what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently global riots are occurring in various regions around the world, and these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously? That's not realistic at all. Yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society? Till eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. 
footage of the riots start getting circulated, and strange incidents start occurring one after another, a hopeless anxiety insistently, oh, instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Hey. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story ideas, because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I never believe it for a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. Should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Hey, about that. Are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a made-up story? <laughs> of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... Of course There's not. no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. Y you're right. I just... A lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something unbelievable could actually happen. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason? That's right. It's not so weird. This whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are all into this stuff. Huh? And they're the ones who are making us kill each other? Those bastards get off and watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean... I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. That sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. It's like the Sims. Okay, so we're gonna leave. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go this way, because this is the way we were going. Military base. That thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Not just that. There's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. Pachoy! I was looking for Monokumas. I knew you could do it. I think he's Robokuma. Truck. Is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. But I don't even know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. I mean, you could. Is this a military truck? There's something in the cargo box. Firearms! And there's a ton of them! There's a lot of different weapons, like guns and anti-tank rockets, carelessly stacked in here. Is it really a right to handle these carelessly? Tank. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? We know we have to go to these. Blah, blah. One of the monitors. He can just contact us. Either way, it pisses me off. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think there's any point in us ever checking on these, but... Rocket launcher? I was looking at the thing behind me. The, this helicopter... Is this the helicopter Monik Kuma used to execute Teru Teru? Th this helicopter! Don't screw with me! Ow! Um, Hajime? What happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. Damn it, I am so weak. Uh, oh, we can't go. Why is my thing not moving? Oh, it's hitting the wrong button. Okay, so we got those. Okay, so that's basically it aside from the ladies. Um, this appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. All right. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Huh? Really? In 
my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank. No problem. No problemo. No problemo. Um. Of course, in modern warfare. Uh, oh, a course in modern warfare is a required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with anime, and now this. Sonia's country never ceases to baffle me. However. However. Weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, the stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. Please wait. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. That's the Future Foundation's insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan? What is this? However... I assume it belongs to Monokuma and was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Um... Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. Well... But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Um... In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. W wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time. If that's true, then the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um, I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well? However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Um... It was written there that the central island houses a large administrative building. However, we cannot find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? However, but according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters... Could it be that same building? Um, they are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters. Or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it, what the hell is going on? Perhaps. We were so distracted by all of the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other, we might have overlooked... A more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. A real man fights with his fists. That goes for women, too. Right. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. No thanks. Boob pillows? Alright, I guess we're gonna leave. We investigated everything, and Akane is just fucking weird. Gotta love her, though. This looks horrifying. Actually, his mouth moves. Well, his muzzle. <sighs> White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Ah, uh, Hajime, good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Uh, anyway. Monokumas? 
Do, 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 do. Oh, no, I wanted to do this. No Monokumas here? They must be inside. Let's see. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. That's the factory door. Yeah, all right, let's, let's see this door. All right, then I'm going inside. Plushy factory. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, yes! Well, what the heck is this? What was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away in conveyor belt was... That one right there is a Monokuma thing. Monokuma? That's a really clever place to put it. But he stood out like a sore thumb. I mean, they made him stand out a little bit, but I just can't believe that's hilarious. The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket, one after the other. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see. So these are plushies. Oh my god, I want one. Um, Monokuma plushies. Ah, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie, too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies! Life-size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich! But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. I don't want it. Uh, let's see something. There's the door. That's about it. I guess this is all we can look at. He's making them out of trees. They're shredding trees and making them. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is pressed and eventually made into this stupid thing. Mm, I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. Well, what kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me! Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door! I want to go there. What should we do? Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But still... But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right. We should go there just for a little while. There's nothing over here, right? No, just that. Okay. I guess we gotta go back. Join! Looks like the break room is on the other side of this door. It sounds like a place for housewives and gossip, but it doesn't seem like there's anyone at this factory. Oh. Oh, then we... Oh. I thought that was getting out. Leave here. Oh, we already went in there. Shit. I clicked the wrong what thing. Anyway, exit. I clicked the wrong brutin. Anyway, uh, before we go into the other side of the factory, I'm going to wrap this part up here and we will continue. When we come back, we'll go into the warehouse. So I will uh, see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.